full. What, where are you? Why are there more doors in my house than usual? Oh. Ah! Paul, don't put doors in the ceiling! Well, I'm just I'm just digging. I'm just excavating some extra space. Why does that one say prayer room? Oh, oh, don't don't go in there. They don't like to be disturbed. <laughs> don't go in there. Look, just let us work. We're very busy. And don't enter any more rooms. Space is strictly limited. Paul, I don't. Paul? some tea. is one of those games that got Paul properly excited about board gaming. Properly excited about cows and feeding babies and putting a vegetable in the ground. More excited than he'd been about board games since he was wee and playing games, workshop games. It's got donkeys in it! Caverna is kind of Agricola 2.0 and that makes it important for everybody because Agricola introduced a lot of people into that peculiar Germanic school of board game design whereby players don't fight directly but rather simply compete for resources and bounce off each other in a much softer way. And Agricola 2.0 is a fitting moniker. And that's important for everybody, okay? Because if this box can update Agricola and bring it into 2014 and make it exciting again, that would make this a really important box. As you can see from the player mats, the farming side of things is still there, but Caverna, very, very much a sequel, has now bolted on this cave network where your family live. You're going to be digging mines and furnishing your caves, pulling fat rubies out of the earth. Rubies. But the heart of the game will be the same, which is there's going to be a central action board with a load of possible actions made available to you. You send off family members to uh, do housework or mine rubies or slash and burn the forest outside your house. No one else can get that. And then you get the reward. Meow. So to do well in this, just like Agricola, the secret is timing, much like cooking, which is fitting. When do you abandon your plan because just so many resources have built up on a particular space? When do you go for the golden rooms that are victory point multipliers but won't help you develop your farm? I mean, it's, it's very much a game of, well, I really want a baby, but... You know, three rubies is, is pretty crazy. Rubies. Rubies. Well, Quinn's is making it sound like a starchy puzzle, but that's not really what it's about. For a lot of people, Agri Caverna is a game where you start with absolutely nothing, and it's up to you whether you decide to, to dig and mine, or clear huge swathes of land, or maybe you just want to do logging, just do lots of logging, just constantly do logging. But the appeal is in starting with absolutely nothing, and then building up, and then building something that you've that you've made yourself, your own personal, customised achievement, formed from all the game's different choices and possibilities. Yeah, aren't there a bit too many possibilities, Paul? Well, no. How many possibilities are there again? Too are there too many possibilities? No. Okay, so Agricola had this thing where every player would get a hand of cards that would nudge them towards a new strategy, like maybe you're holding the clay card and you can be a clay uh, and do things with clay. Caverna has swapped this for essentially a hand of cards or room tiles that are available to everyone all the time and can go in your cave and give you benefits, but it's... It's weird. I mean, I don't not like it, but even Comet, which is a silly game, knew that if you were going to do this chocolate box thing, you have to give players some limitations. I mean, if this is a chocolate box, then it made me feel like me and my friends were all really picky knobheads who were trying to decide on the exact favorite flavor of pecan. I mean, we've got a stone supplier, a seam, a quarry, and then a blacksmith and a miner. Like, which of these do you want? And then you have to sort of cross-reference your chocolate with your diet plan as to whether you have enough and no, maybe you need to eat a Brussels sprout, then you need to find the room you wanted again, and then you pick it up, and then you realize you don't even have any caverns. It's, 
It's it's a weird one. I think he's missing the point again. The, the point is that I've organised all of the animals into into this part here. It's all of the animals here, and I've organised all of the outdoor resources into this part here, and I've organised all of the indoor resources into this part here, and now I'm going to look at them for a while, and then after that I'm going to take them away, all of them, and just touch them in alphabetical order for a while and they'll be organised. And then after that, I put them all in little bags, organised, and put them all back into the box in order. And then pick it up and do 20 reps with it, because I swear there's nothing heavier or denser than this that we've that we've ever reviewed. Quince, have you just seen all the possibilities? Yes. Of, but the, 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 yes. the, the, all the things that you can touch and hold, it just get some ore, and then I've, it's my, my ore, and I can hold it and touch it, and I instantly have it's my ore, and it's just one of the things that's gonna end up being everywhere. The game just gives you everything. Like you clear areas, and then you have pastures, and then you can you can put animals into them. If you have a dog that supervises them, which I do because I've got look, I've got a dog. Because the game gives you dogs, and then you'd start digging out your mine areas, and then you'd have rooms, and you can put things in those places, or you can just dig deeper. Like look, I can dig deeper and have an ore mine, and then then dig deeper and have a ruby mine, and that gives me rubies and. I've got I've got a donkey and I can put it in the ruby mine. No, he's 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 fine. He's okay. And then why wouldn't he be okay? It's shush. Okay, it's just I take care of my shut up. And then farming because in you put things in the ground and there's a tactility even to this and you start removing the things as as you farm them and they come out and it's so three dimensional and you have such a, a physical representation of everything that happens and then. After you farm it, the animals breed, but that, that sheep would run away because I need more dogs. The, the game gives you dogs, it uh, gives you dogs. But I can put the sheep in here. And you build your own personal place and it's yours. And you tell your stories about the people who live there, like the two dwarfs. And they live with the sheep. And they go, good morning. And the sheep goes, Meh. and then they kill it for dinner. And you can have a breakfast room. And you can put the cow in the breakfast room. Hello, Mr. Cow Moo. Oh my god, are you regressing? No. You know we need to do like an actual design analysis of this and convince the people if they want to buy it. No. Is this going to be like catnip? Am I going to have to stop you from rolling around in this stuff? No. Good. So, Agricola was always a strong game about- Oh my god, what are you- Don't take your flies off! Ow! 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 Okay. So it turns out that Caverna is a very 2014 update of Agricola in the sense that it's kitchen sink design. A lot of Euro games these days give players so much to think about that they have no choice but to be engaged. I mean, Caverna isn't just about worrying about animals, minerals, vegetables, babies, baby animals, and interior decorating. You can also send your family members adventuring. And this is a very interesting, important mechanic. I know this because Uwe Rosenberg says so himself in the manual. So you can send, if you have all a family member, off to forge themselves a weapon and go on an adventure. And then they can bring back dogs and wood and sheep and then they level up. And some poor bastard has had to write thematic explanations in the manual as to why at level 5 you can get a boar, at level 4 a pumpkin, at level 14, a level 14 warrior you can breed two animals. Um, and that's sad for me, because if it wasn't that, this game would transparently be about leading a clan of gory bushwhackers whose adventuring is really them going off killing neighbours and stealing cows. I find this adventuring thing the best and worst thing about Caverna because it goes away to solving a problem with Agricola. If one person, and only one of you, goes for this whole blacksmithing, weapon forging, bushwhacking strategy, they will probably win. If all but one player's go a jostling for the adventuring spaces, the player who focuses on just breeding goats will probably win. And yet it feels underdeveloped. So much of Caverna is still doing things your friends don't quite care about. Look, wait, look, listen, what we have here is just a potpourri of, of, of possibilities. Of, of options, we often say we often say that board games are divided into two different camps. We say, oh well, you know, there's these these European style games that are all woody and they have components and serious rules and and ideas and they're very sensible and thoughtful. And then there's then there's American style games which are very stylistic and artistic and exciting and they have loads of little things you can play with and loads of cards and loads of tokens and they're a bit kind of wild and. 
Caverna feels like a marriage of the two. That's how it feels. Like the two got together and they, they had a wish for children. So Caverna just says, well, wh what do you want to do? How do you want to do this? Maybe, maybe you want a peaceful cave and you'll have a nice time and there'll, there'll be some sheep and, and then you'll have your cuddle room and the sheep's are all in it and you'll have a lovely time. And you could do that if you want to do that. Or, or maybe that's not your thing and you don't want to have anything to do with that and you're going to be mining for rubies and you're going to be rich and you're going to have dogs and those dogs will be kind of like patrol dogs. And you'll work your, your donkeys and they'll work hard and then you'll build your weapon storage or maybe that's not your kind of thing and you want the prayer chamber for lots of points if you don't have any weapons. And, and so this is what the governor is asking you. How do you want to play? What do you want to have? What do you want to build? What you can build? Anything you like, just as long as you can snatch it away from other people first. Hmm. You know, Paul does have a point that the theme of Kavana is so strong that building something isn't just satisfying, but it's exciting to see how your development turns out. I've kind of reproduced the thing I made in my first ever game of Kavana, and it's really f***ed up! Look, we've got a big, strong mummy and daddy dwarf, and they've got all their vegetables, and they get really angry if you touch the vegetables because their dogs are always hanging out in the vegetable packs and then they've got the slaughtering cave and every season these boars give birth and we eat the baby and then we've got kids but the kids are in the back of the cave in these dwellings kind of behind the slaughterhouse in, in among all the weapons as if the parents think of their kids as just more supplies it's it makes you it makes you think oh, is this game great Okay, I'm clearly really excited to tell you about Caverna and about how it's big and woody and lovely and smart and tactile and it has all these things. It's just full of, of, of physical joy and excitement. And okay, it's not a perfect game. You've got all those the 48 different rooms to learn and you don't know what they do and you don't know yet whether you need to buy them because they might do a thing that helps you do another thing. And that's fine, that's familiarity and that takes time. And then it's not a quick game either, I'll admit that. You know, if you're gonna play it with Particularly with like seven people, the complexity oh and the, God, the size of it, and the, the time that it takes to to learn. It makes this just this is just bonkers. Okay, so this game ships at an absurd recommended retail price of like seventy pounds of dollars, and yet it includes components for seven players, right. woods well, for seven players. Yes. So why not well, just? Course. Which you'd never want to play. So why well, not just sell on, less components? You just, uh, set a day aside and have a nice time. You know, some people will play. I don't so want to wait so for people. six jerks so to people. take their turn oh, between making me people. So you sense. should definitely. I mean, I think it's. It's. Wait, are you recommending it? Well, I just. I was. Don't uh, recommend that, it. The sentence had nearly ended. I recommend that we no. grab. Caverna. No. Because, because for the money, you could right. buy Archipelago and, you know, Suburbia or Terra Mystica and a small game. But none game. of those are Caverna. I mean, this game has really its own personality. It's distinctive. It is really You're smart. right. None it's of them are Agricola to do again. In it. I mean, well, like, why would you want Agricola, Agricola again? It's Agricola 2.0, though, because it is. it actually wears that crown, that right. woody crown. Really so well. if I owned Agricola, is, I would, what if they already wait, own Agricola? No, wait, uh, stop, stop. What if they already uh, own um, so don't buy it. Buy it. Just buy it. It's okay. So how many rooms did you add to my house in the end? Um, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Like what? Uh, well, there's a there's a caverna room because I like caverna so much that I made a caverna room inspired by caverna in which you can play caverna and make uh, rooms. That sounds meta. You have nosebleeds. Mm. What else? A drawing room. Oh, one of those rooms for um. For drawing. Yes. Yeah. Pictures. Blood. Oh, that's rubbish. What else? Is there anything that you did that's of any use to me? I made a two rooms and a boom room because that's a really good game. So we can play two rooms and a boom in the two rooms and a Surely boom. Surely you room. need two rooms to make a two rooms and a boom room. What you've made is one room and a boom, or technically just a boom room. 